In this video, what we want to do is find the incremental rate of return for these projects. So what, what I mean by that is let's pretend that we only have $4,000 to spend. Now, we can only accept a project if it has a minimum attractive rate of return of 36%. Now, it would seem that we could afford both of these projects and that we should go with both of these projects. We should go with project one and we should go with project two. However, we only have $4,000. So we have to choose between one of these projects. Which project should we choose or should we just not choose any? So um, right now you're probably thinking, okay, this is really confusing because the Mars 36% and if we have 4,000 to invest, project two cost $4,000 to invest and we get 37.5% rate of return, right? The internal rate of return is 37.5%. We know that. So shouldn't we choose project two? However, project one gives us 45%, gives a 45% rate of return and only cost us $1,000. Now we don't get as much money from them. We only get $450 richer in a year versus $1,500 richer in a year. So this is what this incremental rate of return means. So what I mean by that is, what we do is we subtract the um, bigger cost, of the, the project that has the bigger cost from the project that has the smaller cost. So what we do that is we have P2 minus P1. Now $4,000, a negative $4,000 minus a negative $1,000. Well, what does that give us? That gives us a negative $3,000. So now let's look at it as we have $3,000 to invest. So what's our rate of return on $3,000 from the difference? So what's the difference between the returns? Well, that's $1,450, or sorry, it's P2 minus P1, $5,050 minus $1,450. So what is that simple math? I think it's just $3,050, but I wanna be certain, 5500 minus, 1450 is uh, $4,050. All right? Yes, $4,050 is $4,050. So what is the incremental rate of return for this cash flow, the incremental cash flow? So what we want to do to find the rate of return is, remember, the rate of return says the present worth, whoops, present worth is equal to zero. So what's the present worth of a negative $3,000? Well, that's a negative $3,000. What's the present worth of $4,050 in one year? So we just add $4,050, $50. And we multiply that by one plus I to the negative one, because it's one year ahead, so it has some interest rate that it gained in one year. So. Now, let's solve this for our I. So we'll move to 3,000 over here. So we have 3,000 is equal to $4,050, all divided by one plus I. That's just a negative one, so you just put it under the 4,000, and that gets rid of the negative one. So then we have, we have this, where we're gonna switch the 3,000 back over here and the one plus I over there. So we have one plus I is equal to $4,050 divided by one, or whoops, divided by 3,000. All right, so what does that give us? What is 4,050 divided by 3,000? All right, 4,000, 4,050 divided by 3,000. Thousand. That's equal to 1.35. So, so we just say that is equal to 1.35, right? Because 4,050 divided by 3,000 is 1.35. So now we're going to subtract one from both sides. Subtract one. So I is equal to 35 <clears> percent. <throat> so the internal rate of return is 35 percent for this. Uh, incremental investment. And remember, we get $1,050 in return, or we gain $1,050. So the question is, when you have the internal rate of return for incremental investments, 
which project is it better to go with? Is it better to go with project one or project two? So if project um, uh, project two, if the rate of return on project two minus project one is greater than mar, select project two. If it's the other way around, you select the other project. So this is 35%. So if we went with project one, if we went with project one, we'd get a rate of return of 45%. Now that would leave us $3,000 to invest and we can get a MRR of 36%. So if we had $3,000 to invest, would we rather invest it in project two or invest it just somewhere else where we can get that 36%. So what is better? It's better to invest in project one plus some other investment where we can get the MAR of 36%. Even though project two has a 37.5% rate of return, the difference between them is only 35% when you do the incremental investment. That's the very big part and I don't know if I really push that. Because, I mean, we're investing an additional $3,000. Is that additional $3,000 to get us to Project 2, is that $3,000 really worth it? And that $3,000, when we invest into Project 2, is only worth 35%. So it's much better to invest in Project 1 and invest that $3,000 somewhere else where we can get a rate of return of 36%.